Dragon Ball that fan asks, can you make a video on equipping and unequipping a weapon for a mobile game in this please? And please reply, please. Okay, so I can basically uh, show you how it's done. So in my specific tutorials, I use the sci-fi soldier. The so sci-fi soldier is already uh, equipped with the weapon and have some nice scripts uh, to switch weapon. I will show you how uh, this author implemented all these things and the basics, basic concept behind it so you can um, redo it on your project. The first thing I did is I uh, imported all the models in Blender. So basically with this package comes a rifle and one character. Um, as you can see, the character is an amateur with a model and different bones attached to it. So I have a four part tutorial series how you can create such a model and amateur and create all the animations for it. If we have a specific look, um, we can see that this amateur um, contains several bones like a right leg, a left leg, a spine, and if you go down the spine, you will find something like a right arm. And if we dig a little bit deeper, we have a right arm one, right arm two, right arm three, and so on. And then we have a wig pistol. So, and this is here. So we have uh, for each finger one separate bone and one of this, these bones are for the rifle itself. So the rifle is attached to this bone and as soon as you animate the character, this bone will change the position. So I can go to pose mode, maybe grab those two and you see if I change the position of the arm, all the attached bones will follow my path and so the weapon will follow as well. Okay, there's no weapon. Um, the question is, should I model the weapon directly in his hand or as a separate model? And my recommendation for this is do it as a separate model. So here's the model for the weapon. Very important is the origin of the model. The origin of the model is directly here where the hand of the character will be. So if I want to have several weapons, I could all uh, I could model them all in Blender and uh, just have to care about the origin, that the origin is there where the hand will be. Okay, back to Unity. What will this mean to our game? So we have all these wigs and all these bones in Unity as well. And we have a wig left pistol, wig right pistol. So, and as you can see, it's directly in his hand. Now we can go to the weapons and here we have the sci-fi rifle. I can attach the rifle to his wig right hand. And you see, I said the, uh, the position is zero and the rotation is zero and the weapon is already in his hand. And if we animate the camera character now, the rifle will follow its parent, so this is the right pistol and the animation will look good. So let's um, start, or oh, before I start, I will delete this rifle because the rifle will be initiated via the script. And as you can see, the rifle will follow the animation. If we stop here, we see that the rifle um, is in both hands, but it's actually the only parent to this right hand. The left hand doesn't play any role here. I can uh, take the rifle and drag and drop it wherever I want. But the basic principle is that the character holds the rifle in his hand. Okay, here is a script that comes with this asset. So on a wake, um, the component animator is bound to the animator. And if the arsenal count is bigger than zero, then the first arsenal name is set. Okay, you are, may ask yourself, what is the arsenal? The arsenal is uh, one is a set of weapons. You see the set of weapons here. The size is two. We can increase it, for example, um, make another one, 
and give it a name, for example, cube. And we say, okay, the white gun isn't, isn't um, this rifle, it's this normal cube. Therefore, we create maybe a new cube, 3D cube. Where with it? Here. Make it a little bit smaller to have it handy. So. Okay, maybe this is a good size. We will create a prefab, delete the cube, go back to our soldier and drag and drop the cube onto the white gun slot, call it cube, and we have a controller. You see that there are two different controllers, a freehand controller, a rifle controller, and a rifle controller. These come with these packages. There are uh, one pistol controller and two pistol controller as well. And this means depending on how many hands you have to hold the weapon, um, the animation changed. So. If we uh, have a deeper look at the animations that's come that um, that you download with this asset, then you see, for example, you have an idle for a one hand pistol. So this is the idle position, and it looks completely different if you have a rifle. Then it looks like this. You may notice that the weapon is missing and this is because it's only the animation for the character. Let's go to the script. So the script is pretty simple. Um, you have one method and this is the basic method here. It's set arsenal. The so arsenal is a list of these arsenal class or structs. If we go down here, we see, okay, arsenal is a struct with a name right gun, left gun, and controller. This is basically what you see in the editor here. So, and the script goes the following. I have simplified the script to um, let you see a little bit more easily what is happening here. So at first we find in this arsenal something that equals the name from this method. So this method uh, requires a name, for example, rifle, goes through all the arsenals in this list and search for the rifle here. Uh, if the rifle is not found, then we return. Otherwise, we check the white gun bone. The white gun bone is here, white pistol wick, if this is empty, everything is fine. If this is not empty, for example, if there is a rifle underneath it, we have to destroy it. We say, okay, white gun bone, get child zero. There can be only one child and zero is the first index of the child and we will destroy the game object. After that, we create a new game object based on weapon white gun. And this is basically what we dragged and dropped in the editor. Set the parent to the white gun. Bone, um, the local position and rotation should be zero. And here the rotation is 90, zero, zero. So basically if I do it by hand, I can go to weapon, grab a rifle, put it here. So the parent is already set. And I set it to zero, zero, zero. Uh, 90, zero, zero. And there we see it fits perfectly in his hand and everything looks fine. So this is done by the script and we can use it now, for example, with our own script. I will add a script called switch weapon. edit the script and here I need the player controller. So the player controller is basically already attached to our player. So we can call get component player controller, then it is bound. And uh, if input get key down, code W 
or maybe K. Then we can say set arsenal and then we can choose from this list any weapon we want, for example, a cube, because I just created the cube and say cube. So you could also uh, add some more buttons. If you want it for mobile, just copy a button and say, okay, as soon as the button is pressed, then we will execute the script. Okay, let's start. Okay, at first he doesn't have any weapon. So I switched the weapon as soon as I pressed on this button. So this is because one of my scri uh, scripts say set arsenal rifle and the new script I just wrote uh, will be triggered when I hit K. I press K and there we go. You see the animation is changing and he has this cube. So. The cube is very powerful. You should be careful to use it only um, if you want a really strong weapon. No, just kidding. That's it. Uh, if you want to see more or anything else, just request it in the comments and subscribe, leave a like and so on.